Hello, we're here at uh, Museo Historico Sarmiento, which actually is right across uh, the street from uh, the Plaza Belgrano, right over there, where we uh, where we just finished up shooting our video about the yellow fever vaccine, and uh, I had planned to just get out of here, but then I saw this museum over here, and I figured we're here. We might as well check it out so let's go before we do that I just want to say real quick thank you very much for watching the video click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below it's free it's easy and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers all right back to the video so according to the little sign out in front this of course uh, museum is named after Domingo Fausto Sarmiento who was president of Argentina back in the uh, I want to say late 1800s, possibly early 1900s. We've talked about uh, Sarmiento before, actually. When we were here before in Mendoza, uh, there is a like uh, pedestrian walk in Mendoza that's called Sarmiento. It's named after him. And we talked a little bit about him. And what's interesting about Sarmiento is he was like very, uh, his priority when he was president was uh, education, specifically to like educate the populace here in Argentina. And he did a lot of uh, a lot of great things for the education system here in Argentina and for like, to, to just like have an educated society, that was his goal. And so having a museum named after him, uh, well, it makes sense. I don't know exactly what's going on in this museum. It's a history museum. And I don't know if it's just like a normal history museum that's named after Sarmiento or if it's like a history of Domingo Fausto Sarmiento. We're going to see. We're going to go inside and check it out. It's free to enter, which is a great thing. One of the great things, honestly, about um, Argentina, specifically like Buenos Aires, is... Um, well, not just specifically Buenos Aires. Other, other places, other cities in Argentina as well. But just like the museums are really good and uh, they're mostly free or very, very, very like affordable, uh, really good. Let's go in and check it out. So after we entered the museum, uh, we weren't actually allowed to film inside, but they did let us take pictures and there's a lot of stuff to see in here, a lot of really interesting stuff. And it turns out it is a museum about Sarmiento. The entire museum is dedicated to, uh, to Sarmiento. And not just his presidency, but if you can see here, the first section is actually dedicated to the Battle of Caseros. And what was really interesting was I didn't know much about the Battle of Caseros before, uh, before I went to this museum. And it's actually like pretty much the culminating battle in the decades long civil war in Argentina following independence between the Unitarian and Federalist forces. Now just a brief uh, explanation, Unitarian forces wanted Buenos Aires to be in charge of basically everything in Argentina. Federalists wanted each individual province to have freedom to govern themselves and have Buenos Aires just sort of be a very weak central government to coordinate everything. And this civil war went on for, like I said, decades, and actually um, the Sarmiento, a young Sarmiento, fought in the war. And you can see here uh, a photo or a, uh, a painting of the war and uh, uh, the Battle of Caseros. There's some uh, artifacts here that they have. Uh, so an old photo here of Sarmiento from when he was a soldier in the war. He was a, an officer. And also this flag here, which I thought was pretty cool. It's a, it's a flag, I think, of his unit. I think it's a flag of his unit. And it says on here, uh, you know, Viva la Confederación Argentina, which is like, long live the Argentine Confederation. Mueran los salvajes unitarios, death to the savage unitarians. So there was a lot of stuff here about the Battle of Caseros, and it was interesting to see, um, you know, what Sarmiento was doing before he was eventually president of, uh, of Argentina in like the late 1800s. Here's a picture of Sarmiento as I, as I recognized him as president later in life, president of the Argentine Republic. And uh, here are some small bills, some uh, centavos, I believe. This is a 10 centavo bill with Sarmiento on it. I love seeing old money, so it was very cool to see this here in the museum. 
And now in another section, they showed off uh, Sarmiento, like I had mentioned, was uh, really dedicated to education, but also to sciences and pre preservation of, nat of like natural beauty of Argentina. He was a, a proponent of preserving natural wildlife, and he signed this law, Law 2786, to uh, protect animals um, and, and wildlife in Argentina. Now, it's, what's really interesting is when we were in Peru, in Lima, we went to the Museum of Gold of Peru and Weapons of the World, this really cool museum that had a lot of great stuff in it. And one of the things we saw there was actually Sarmiento had um, minted these, uh, like he had minted as president of, of Argentina these sort of, I don't know, they were like um, uh, commemorative coins almost with different animals and he had donated them to uh to the country of peru to the government and they had them on display here because basically like if you go watch that <laughs> that video the guy who owned the museum who put together this collection basically he collected so many different things so it didn't surprise me that he had these cool old like collectibles from um uh sarmiento like giving them to the to uh the peruvian government but it was very cool to see these uh, as well there in the in the museum. He also had here Sarmiento's eyeglasses, as well as like an old letter opener, just some some things that that could be associated with him. They had a telegram that was written in his his handwriting, which is really cool for me to see. Always, I've said this in videos before. I really like finding old documents that are written in. Uh, the handwriting of like important historical figures. It's really cool to see their actual handwritten documents. And in addition to that, they had his quill pen, as well as like the the seal that you would use to seal letters with wax, the official seal. And they also had this, and I didn't really know what this was at first. At first I thought it was like a cane or something, but it turns out it's a, it's a listening device because Sarmiento in his later years had hearing um, damage and, and had trouble hearing. You can see actually a picture here of him using the device to, to help his hearing. And beyond this section, there was a section dedicated to Sarmiento's dedication to science. And they had a picture of Sarmiento um, giving a speech about Charles Darwin. They had some old um, scientific instruments here, like this, uh, including also this uh, pocket sextant. And also, this one I didn't quite know what it was, but after I read the sign, uh, I realized it's, it's something to do with um, telling the, the periods of the sun. And they also had this chair, an articulated chair for Sarmiento, as in, in later years he had trouble moving around and this chair was something that helped him be able to sit in this chair. He could sit his famous butt right there and do his, his uh, writing and his scientific works from here in the chair. In the next room, they had sort of a recreated display with some furniture, bookcases, um, a, a, a desk to sort of, I guess, show what maybe his office would have looked like with these things in it. There was an interesting sign here in this, uh, along with a sort of a smaller exhibit in the same room that really highlighted something that's really important, I think, about Sarmiento is that he was someone who really modernized Argentina. And his work, uh, it mentions here in the this, in this sign, was sort of uh, around the time of the Buenos Aires um, uh, epidemic of yellow fever that we mentioned in our video about yellow fever vaccine. And the things that Sarmiento did, including like modernizing sanitation in Argentina and in the cities in Buenos Aires, also expanding the railways, creating public parks and public spaces for people. He did a really uh, great job at modernizing things like that, communications lines, and just modernizing the city, modernizing the country of Argentina. It's something that he should be remembered for. And they had here the actual shovel that was used to break ground in the 
uh, Japanese garden in Parque Tres de Febrero. It was very, very cool to see that. It was something that I didn't really fully know about Sarmiento, his contribution to modernizing Argentina, but it is a, it is a very grand contribution. And around the corner, there were stairs going up to what I thought was going to be more uh, like exhibit, but really there was just this one display case up there. But very interestingly, in that display case, there was a book, which I believe was part of Sarmiento's personal collection. And it was actually the diary of Bernardo O'Higgins, who we know as the one of the great liberators of Chile from our videos that we've made about Higgins uh, in Chile. Of course, links to those videos in the description. And that was about it for the museum. I was really glad we came in and got to see all of this stuff. And so with that, we headed back outside to finish off the video. Well, that was pretty cool to see. They have a statue of Sarmiento out here wearing like Greek uh, toga, basically, which I think is probably fitting for Sarmiento because, you know, the reputation, of course, in Western culture of, of uh, you know, the, the great scholars of ancient Greece. And uh, Sarmiento himself was uh, maybe not himself a great scholar, but a proponent of great scholarship. And uh, it's pretty cool, that museum, man, seeing all the Sarmiento stuff in there. I had no idea about um, the, that battle, the Battle of Monte Caseros, and that, like, he was in the military before. I mean, it makes sense, to be honest. A lot of, um, a lot of the leaders from his era in, um, in South America, in Latin America, they were, like, they fought in the military. Because, as I mentioned in several videos before, after the Wars of Independence in the 1820s, um, there were lots of other wars that happened, civil wars, wars between different, um, uh, different new, newly formed countries. Uh, the decade or the uh, century of the 1800s uh, here in South America and in Latin America was like very, very violent. There were a lot of wars that happened. And here in, in Argentina, of course, no, um, no exception. There were several decades of civil wars uh, here in Argentina in the early to mid 1800s so it was cool it was really cool to see all that stuff it was really crazy to see uh, all that stuff about um, that referenced the uh, the yellow fever pandemic right and uh, we, we talked about that yellow fever pandemic at the very beginning of our video about me getting the yellow fever vaccine which funnily enough I mean these are gonna be like two different videos that come out at different times but like I mentioned before, right across the street there is uh, Plaza Belgrano, where we literally just finished filming that video about the yellow fever vaccine. And this museum happened to be right here. Lucky, lucky that it happened to be here. And there's a lot of really, really good stuff in there. And Sarbiento is, uh, he really is a very important president um, here in Argentina. Like his, uh, his contribution to to the Argentine society was uh, was great, great contributions. And uh, it's nice that they have this really beautiful museum in this really beautiful uh, building too. I wanna get one last look at it. Typical Buenos Aires, Argentina, beautiful, classic, uh, classic architecture. Really beautiful building. And a really nice museum. And of course, 100% free. So if you are ever here in uh, Buenos Aires, actually if you are here visiting Buenos Aires, there's a good chance you're staying in this neighborhood, Belgrano, because this is one of the neighborhoods where, where uh, tourists often stay uh, when they're coming to visit Buenos Aires. But if you do come to Buenos Aires and you come to the Belgrano neighborhood, uh, you should check this place out. Museo Historico Sarmiento. It's very, very interesting. It's free. You learn a lot about uh, a very important dude in Argentine history, the former president, Domingo Fausto Sarmiento. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.
Thank you.